What's up, sis? Hey! Oh my God, I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in forever. It's your girl, Tahira Asha, and welcome back to my channel. It has been an extremely long time. Like, it's been like three weeks since I posted a video, too. It's probably pushing a month. Like, I don't even think I posted in December. But anyway, I'm back, y'all. I'm back, and I'm with updates, okay? Because... I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in a while. I feel like I haven't been giving y'all the tea on Pure Life Stationery. I feel like I haven't been giving y'all the tea on like personal stuff. I don't think I've ever made a personal video. So this video is an update on moi, okay? So if you are new here, then you know that all of my videos are business, lifestyle, and planning related, right? So I talk about everything. As it pertains to my small business, behind the scenes of my small business, how I run it, what's working, what's not, etc. Lifestyle. I kind of try to show y'all just like a glimpse into the lifestyle of me um, as a mom, a wife, a mompreneur, a socialite, a boss, okay? And then planning. Y'all know that my business, it's, it's based around planners, okay? Like that's my staple piece. That's my baby. That's what I pour my heart and soul into. Um, and so I kind of just like show y'all how I navigate my world through planning. So how I stay organized, um, how I accomplish my goals, whether it's business or personal, right? So I kind of just combine those onto my channel. So if you're new here, welcome, sis. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Again, today is just going to be an update, a little on me. So let's jump right into it. y'all know in the beginning of the year you're supposed to set your goals right now I kind of do my new year's resolution goals in on my birthday which is July which kind of works perfectly because then I have like another six months you know until the new year to do like other types of goals so I kind of already set like real like personal goals um during my birthday but I guess the majority of my goals for 2023 is of course business related and then household like I'm really zoning in on my household okay because baby when I tell you that this past year 2022 I was on raise your hand raise your hand if you was on god's strongest warriors list in 2022 okay raise your hand in the comments let me know in the comments if you were on god's strongest warriors list okay and i don't want to be on that list anymore right like me and my husband y'all we got hit with so much ish okay in 2022 it was just like never ending like so like we like <sighs> we got in like three car accidents our youngest daughter had a serious accident where she had to be hospitalized we like suffered financial loss um just relationship stuff marriage stuff like we was really going through it this year before you go and set new goals you kind of have to assess what happened previously right so why didn't i reach this milestone why was this goal easier to accomplish than this one what barriers did i face what care like what personal characteristics or what character flaws that i have that pretty much prevented me from accomplishing this or moving further down my path right and so I think that's really really important before you start to set your goals right y'all and honestly I really don't want to reflect on the previous year like the previous year was just like I said 2022 was it was crazy now don't get me wrong there were some really big highlights of 2022 like some of my biggest highlights as like for like personal stuff was the trips that I went on um I think our first trip did we do yeah our first trip was in the winter 
So I had to be in like the very beginning of the year. And we had went to Massanutten in Virginia. We went to the cabins out there. And then we went on an anniversary trip in May. Where did we go in May? We went to, we went somewhere. I think it was South Carolina. Yes, we went to South Carolina in May. In June, we went to Atlanta for his birthday. In, in July, I took a solo trip, okay, um, to DC for my birthday. The best, okay, solo trip ever. If you want a, well, I can't, I was supposed to do a vlog, but the vibes were different when I got there. Like, I was really chilling and, like, really zoning in on myself. So, I was like, I really don't feel like recording. Um, so, I can't really do a vlog, but if you want, like, details or advice for solo tripping, leave that in the comments. And then we took the kids to uh well it was supposed to be a before school trip and ended up being a after school trip so i think in i think they started school in august and we went on a trip in like october it was kind of like a staycation um we went to great wolf lodge in virginia um and we stayed there for like a weekend and then and then i just went back to dc in December for my best friend's birthday so I did take a lot of domestic trips like I didn't go out of the country at all because flights were horrendous this year that was another drawback of 2022 I I'm I'm not here for the flights okay in 2022 2023 has got to be better um so yeah those were like the pretty much the highlights of my like personal life trips and like everything that happened on the trips and how I felt on the trips just the rejuvenation the energy that you get after being on vacation um and then we and then like business Ooh, i feel like i feel like i did a lot in my business this year like this i feel like this year was a turning point in my business okay starting all the way back to the very beginning of this year i went to my first business conference and all the way way i think that was like january first business conference and then what else did i do i reached my pop-up shop goal i know i set like i was gonna do at least 10 pop-up shops i know i surpassed that i was at a pop-up shop like every single month and some months i doubled up um what else i collaborated with other brands like i said i wanted to other stationary brands i did a live series recently on my page um on my instagram page if you're not following me on instagram who are you following okay if you're not following me then who are you following all of my social media handles are in the description box below make sure you follow me um and then what else i got my y'all i didn't even post this i posted it but i didn't like record a whole video on it y'all why am i selling my stationary products in my alma mater like i graduated from old dominion university in 2016 and now i sell my planners in one of their stores Round of applause for me. I think that was my biggest goal, right? Because the goal is Target. The goal may be Michael's. The goal is like those big, okay, retailers where I can sell my products out of their stores. But I feel like me being able to get my product into a university, okay, a university, that is a huge milestone and i received my first check i think in the beginning of december or like mid december so another check should be coming soon okay so yeah that was a huge milestone um i reached my subscriber goal on youtube shout out to y'all shout out to y'all i reached my subscriber goal um i didn't reach my instagram follower goal I think my goal was, 
what was my goal? Two thousand. Yes, my goal was two thousand followers, y'all. Sorry, my goal was because I just like did my analysis yesterday. Um, my goal was two thousand followers, and I think on like December thirty first, I was at like fourteen something, like fourteen hundred something. So I was six hundred followers shy. But y'all, <laughs> that two thousand follower goal was crazy. Like. <laughs> I had like, I had like six or 700 followers. <laughs> I had like six or 700 followers in the beginning of January of 2022. And so I was basically saying, girl, you need to get about 1400 followers by the end of the year. So if you are like me and you are gaining your followers organically, they don't just poof you have a thousand followers overnight right like you kind of are building that and to say that i just created my instagram what like two i created my instagram in 2021 so just so to be at 1400 followers already i feel like i feel like that's a good i feel like I feel like we're getting there, okay? And then my goal for this year, though, is to reach 2,300 followers. And, yeah, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, What else did I accomplish? What other goals did I accomplish? Of course, I launched another planner. That's always going to be a goal of mine, to launch at least one planner a year. Um, I surpassed my Black Friday sales. So this Black Friday was the best Black Friday I've ever had, even though I've only had two. But <laughs> I surpassed my sales. Um, I do believe I haven't done all of my sales numbers yet, but I do believe that I did surpass my previous year's sales simply because I know that I've sold more planners and I know that I've earned more money at like in-person events such as like pop-up shops and stuff. So I'm for sure that I surpassed my um, my sales goal from last year. Um, and honestly, y'all, those are my highlights. 2022 was a trying year, but 2023 is, is, is gonna work in my favor, okay? Okay, so personal goals for 2023. I guess I can be super transparent right now because I rarely talk about like my personal stuff on social media. But one of my personal goals for 2023 is, and it's so crazy because I was just journaling about this last night. And in the journal, I was saying that I don't know what my personal goals are because I just want to be very specific. And I don't know about y'all, but I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I feel like when you are talking to God, you have to be very, very specific about what it is that you want, right? Because, for example, you know how like women be praying for a man and then he send her any old type of man and now she's unsatisfied. You have to be really, really specific about what it is that you want. And so... I do know that for like one of my personal goals is I'm just going to continue on my personal growth journey. And I feel like in the beginning of 2022, when I told God and when I wrote it down in my journal that I wanted to um, embark on my personal growth journey, I kind of felt like I was specific as in the type of person that I wanted to become. I just didn't realize how hard it was going to be to become that person like god was really going to put me through some ish okay to come out on the other side much stronger and so i would say like personal goals i'm gonna say for what each we said each quarter we're going to say fifteen hundred dollars i'm gonna say fifteen hundred dollars a quarter fifteen hundred so there's four quarters, so $6,000, right? I'm going to save $6,000. Last year, my goal was to save $10,000. I wasn't even close, okay? Nowhere near that because, again, I took like six trips and I have three kids and everything was very expensive in 2022. So I did not reach that goal. But 
2023 is it's it's definitely going to be a hustle year for me like i really have to get back on my hustle moves and i'm going to be grinding it out so that i can save um that fifteen hundred dollars a quarter regardless okay of what type of trips come up what type of what type of emergencies come up is if something comes up that means i just need to replace that money somewhere else okay but i have to have that fifteen hundred dollars in my account at the end of each quarter period and then another goal of mine is to make some updates to my home i really really want to and not like really big ones but like really small things that i noticed like painting like you know paint chipping here and there um i want to redo my master bedroom um i just want to add a little bit of like accent pieces to my living room um i want to organize my pantry and my bathrooms and my closets just you know that type of stuff like that type of stuff makes me really really happy and that's one of my goals um one of my goals this year of course i have all of my trips but those aren't really goals those are like things like those are non-negotiables okay like i'm going on a trip um how, how many minutes do i have good lord 19 minutes okay and then <laughs> um what other personal goals like really y'all i really just want to zone in on myself like i really want to become i feel like in 2022 i learned to set a lot of boundaries I'm going to say from 2021 to 2022, I've learned to set a lot of boundaries and I'm just going to continue on that path because that path has not led me astray. OK, so I'm going to continue to set those boundaries. Um, I'm going to continue to just. OK, my biggest goal thus far is learning how to control my mind and my emotions okay because i feel like a lot of the stuff that i went through in 2022 would not have like broken me as much as it did had i been mentally stronger and emotionally and just like in control of my emotions right so that's something that i'm working with um and so yeah so like really zoning in on my mental health indulging in a lot of self-care but like learning to be controlled and like learning how to like control myself and not like overindulge in self-care to where I'm broke or I'm being lazy and I'm not like accomplishing other things and just finding like that balance between boss life and mom life. Okay, so those are my personal goals. Now business, business. I don't know why, but like numbers scare me. But as I'm sitting here typing up my business goals, <sighs> y'all, it's a lot of work to be done. Okay. Mm, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so one of the business goals that I have is, um, of course, I want to surpass my sales that I did last, last year. Um, how I'm going to do that is I'm really going to be focusing more on like offering low cost products because my products are kind of like high end. They cost me a pretty penny to be able to provide them to customers. Um, so that's why I think I'm going to like zone in and like really try to dive into like my creativity and come up with some other types of products. I want to say it, but I'm not yet, y'all. I've been working on it and I think I can do it. Um, I'm going to be providing some other types of products and services um, specifically for small business owners, okay? Um, so stay tuned for that. I should be uploading a video within the next couple of weeks. Okay. One of my goals will always be to increase my awareness. Like, I don't care how many people know me. I'm always going to want to be, the goal is worldwide. Okay. So I'm always going to want to be known and like written, not like me per se, but my business. So like when people think of planners, notebooks, pens, stationery, I want them to think of pure life stationery. 
period. And so I'm always looking to expand my awareness, um, whether that be social media or in person. So I'm really going to be upping my social media. I'm not go I'm, I'm not turning up my posting. So I'm not going to be posting two, three times a day. I may not even post every single day. I'm just going to be a little bit more strategic about how and when I post and just like a little bit more strategic in like my call to actions the type of contents the audios all of that and like really really using those insights and those analytics to make sure that my content is reaching my target audience um and let's see what other goals do i have a youtube subscriber goal i should have a youtube subscriber goal i think my youtube subscriber goal is going to be I want to get gain an additional 500 subscribers this year. So if you have not subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video, please hit that subscribe button to help me reach my goal, okay? So I want to reach 500, no, not reach 500, but I want to gain 500 more YouTube subscribers. Um, oh, one of my business goals this year is to get approved for a grant. Well, my goal, okay, is to apply for a grant. The approval is in God's hands, but I, my goal is to apply for at least one grant this year, but I feel like once I apply for the first one, I'm probably just going to keep applying for them. Um, so I'm going to apply for a grant this year. I do want to get approved for a couple of more credit cards in my business name, and I just want to continue to build my business credit. And that's also another personal goal. Because now that I'm like higher in the tiers, like a lot of people are looking to my personal credit. So I kind of, now my personal credit is good, y'all. But I just want to increase it a little bit more so that the odds will forever be in my favor. Okay. Um, <laughs> what else? Like business. I do want to do some more collaborations. I do have it on my list to um, do at least one campaign every single quarter. So like one real campaign. Um, I'm updating my website this year, well actually this week. Um, I'm going to be offering like new services and new payment options, new shipping options, new pickup options. I'm trying to make my products super accessible to my customers this year. And I'm just upping my quality control. Oh yeah, and then I have um you know like my email subscriber goal like i want those to go up um i think i said i want to gain at least 600 more email subscribers um and then what did i say oh tiktok i'm on tiktok now y'all ah, i posted my first tiktok video i think on christmas and then I um, posted another one like a couple of days ago. So I'm not like heavy on TikTok, but I'm up there, okay? And that is one of my goals this year is to reach a certain amount of like followers on TikTok. I kind of haven't created that goal yet because y'all, I don't know how to use TikTok. Like, I don't even know like what um what's realistic as far as like TikTok followers. Let me know in the comments, y'all. So like when you first made your TikTok, like how long did it take for you to get like your first hundred followers or something like that? Or tell me, yeah, in the comments, tell me when you made your TikTok and how many followers you have. And then I'm going to do the math based on all of y'all answers. Okay. Help me out. Okay. And then I'll make my follower goal because I really don't know what's that all about. I've never been on TikTok. I've never been one of those people who like scroll on TikTok. I just don't do it. But whatever. Um, And then what other goals do I have? I think that's pretty much it, y'all. I mean, really just awareness, finances, you know, getting approved for those grants, social media stuff, um, product launches. But that's it. Whew. 2023 is going to be amazing. And I know it's going to be amazing for me. I'm claiming it. I'm manifesting it. I'm writing it down. I'm saying affirmations every single day. Um, and I'm working, y'all. As you set your goals, don't just set your goals. Write them down. And don't think about them ever, ever again. You have to work towards your goals.
you have to do something that's going to push you towards your goals every single day it doesn't matter how minute how small you may think that that task is it can make a difference down the road if you continue to build and capitalize on that okay so that's my little tip for y'all again if you're new here welcome make sure you subscribe to my channel all of my videos are not going to be like this i promise view my other videos so you know that they're not like this um this was just like my first video of 2023 and i just wanted to chat with y'all okay but anyway again make sure that you're following me on all of my social medias instagram facebook and now tiktok and again la again 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 and again and again and again make sure that you subscribe to this video thank you so much for watching sis peace Thank you.